Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. Uh, this is your weekly reading for the 23rd, 22nd through the 28th. Okay, Aries, thank you for all the love and support you've shown the channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, Aries, if something automatically ends, because I did get the world card, you keep getting cards flying out. If something automatically shifts or end unexpectedly, then try to have stay balanced and have patience, okay? And you just have the temperance card fly out too when I was shuffling the card. So I feel like that's an additional message. Let's see what's going on with you, Aries. That's a way to start a reading, huh? Professional assistance coming up out. Can you see that? All right. Milestones. It may happen in a good way with that card coming out. And then the loving woman in reverse. Hmm. Taking steps at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so Pisces. I'm sorry, Pisces. I said that because Pisces got the same as that card. Sorry, they celebrating outside. Ugh. They keep riding around the corner doing the same thing. All right. Um, it seemed like you, maybe you were getting some... Um, professional assistance in the past to achieve something and um maybe it seems like it's coming in though you may meet a milestone within this or say you decided to start a business where you uh professionally assisting people with things is you may meet a milestone because this is in your present situation but um there may be a lack of support or just someone who's just not maybe it's you with this, uh, the loving woman coming out in reverse. Maybe, let's get some more about this. This could be, if you're male, uh, masculine, this could be your feminine. Somebody's just not happy or just maybe working against you, okay? Or just not offering you the support that you may w wish to have or just something. Maybe you disconnecting from somebody and that could, that's what can be... Um, coming out maybe you just overcoming a certain situation in in regards to love or just i don't know maybe feeling dismissed by a person it could be that also give me messages for aries divine we have uranus coming out the root of enlightenment okay it says free spirit opportunity sorry about that embracing the unknown jumping in and out doing it Originality, individual, in, individuality, technology, innovation, rebel without a cause. Okay. So you could have been trying to uh, seek professional guidance or professionally guiding others. And this is the fool. And it seems like this was something new for you. And you were trying to get enlightenment about it. How can you not get to this milestone? It seems like it kind of, it's going to pay off or you may have reached a certain milestone now. However... Where'd the car go? Okay. The moon is something that's unknown or unclear. It says fantasy, subconscious, romance, intuition, psyche, affection, recognition, invitation, sensuality, divine feminine. Maybe you're just not feeling like yourself right now, but that's been a change. Or this could be in a home situation with the uh, home card here, a house, home, belonging, roots, discomfort, safety, family, traditions, building, shelter, or boundaries. Give me a second, uh, Aries.
you could be just not feel I feel like this is you maybe not feeling like yourself or there may be somebody that you don't know maybe working against you or this with this coming out this could be somebody you love or something like that or you maybe feel disconnected from your intuition and some I don't let's get some more cards Cause this is divine feminine and then this is in reverse. So in the future, you may just not be feeling good with that being in a future position. I feel like it's going to subside. Maybe in regards to home or family situation with this here, King of Cups, maybe someone you love is dishonoring you or you feel like they just not uh, taking your emotions for granted. Then we have the overall energy as the Knight of Wands. So it's like a, it's a lot going on or you've been through a lot and maybe you get tired towards in the near future. <clears throat> First card out is the eight of cups. The queen of swords. The nine of swords. The star and the knight of swords eight of cups being clarified by the five of uh, wands ace of wands coming out under the queen of swords the tower under the uh, nine of swords we have the Empress under the star. And the Five of Cups underneath this. And the Magician. So it's something that you're trying to create or build. It seems like... Um, Maybe you were seeking professional uh, assistance or somebody was of how to start over and have a new beginning here. Maybe there's some things you felt like you need to cut out and that's where you were trying to gain the kick clarity about how to start over, possibly in love, in a relationship with this whole spread coming out. But it can definitely be maybe you just trying to start a new business venture where you uh you offer professional assistance uh, teach people how to embrace who they are the opportunities they have become a free spirit lighten up just whatever it was you were trying to a rebel without a cause okay just something was going on here that you were trying to do in the uh, past but uh in the future it seems like um you kind of start over and create and, and reach a milestone. Maybe it's this is like where you was trying, you were pushing, you were pushing for it and you reach a now it's like you drop all the stuff. That's conflicting, like something is it's like you trying to go for something and something is like a pushback It's pushing back at you and making it hard for you to meet this milestone. Well, in the a few in the recent, it's like you're going to walk away from that and be able to achieve this milestone, whatever it is. OK, whether this is in love or creative. OK. But. There could be some subconscious fears affecting you. And that's what's going to be released by this tower. And I just said something. If you've been like mentally in a place where you haven't been feeling good, you haven't been having that drive or you don't feel supported, all that's finna be released. Why? It's because it's like you is you're being divinely guided. They're coming in and intervening with this tower. This is like um, divine intervention right here to me or just something that just like maybe you come up, you you come up with a solution or just a sudden epiphany or idea about how to manifest exactly what you want. And then underneath it there, you have the eight of wands, which is underneath there is the uh, seven of cups. So whatever's confusing you, um, Aries, it seems like it finally comes in for you moving to the future. And you listen to the, your divine guidance, have hope again, start believing in yourself again, where maybe you wasn't doing that for a while. Okay. Or that's just how you're going to be feeling soon. Like it's, it maybe seem like a far fest. It's ugh, I'm getting so many interruptions right now with this reading. Maybe that's the problem. You get <laughs> you feeling like there is like always something else, especially with the Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands there. 
but uh the re that's the reason why this is happening the reason that the divine is trying to guide you into whatever this abundance or whatever it is you're trying to create and it gives you the p potential to kind of drop this sadness and move forward clearly understanding exactly where you want to go and quickly get there let's get some law of attraction cards I hope I made that clear for you. <clears throat> it's always hard to kind of do a reading when you got 5,000 uh, uh, distractions outside. Yeah, something's coming in and it's coming in as a message. You see that new message, game changer? And that's what this tower can be. Maybe there's a game changer that comes in that help you see this picture clearly. And you feel like you ha your hope is restored. You get what I'm saying? And then you, a you feel like I can do this where you kind of got to a place where you didn't feel like that. And it's a surprise to you come in all of a sudden. This could be like, say you in a relationship and the other person decides to kind of help to come in where maybe you felt like you were doing all the work by yourself. Now this person comes in like, you know what? I want to work this out. And you guys, whatever it is, it's a game changer. Okay. And it could be a gift and making connections. Okay. And then write it down, write down what it is you truly want. The universe has received your order. No feel it's yours done. Right. Writing brings um, it into physical form. All right, let me get you one more card. A quick, uh, Aries. Sorry about all the dis distractions. Okay, you're being encouraged, uh, angel of universe. So you're being encouraged to expand your thinking. Okay, Aries, that's the message I have for you. Hope it helps. Bye.